Hey guys, welcome to the Food and Food. Today I'm going to show you how to make cassava pudding, also known as tapioca and manioc. Uh, here I've got around 908 grams of tapioca, which has already been grated, so I'm not using fresh one. You can of course use fresh uh, cassava. You peel it, then you chop it in cube before you go for the recipe. I'm going for an easy version. Here I have two can of coconut milk, which is 400 ml each. I've got sugar and vanilla essence. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to blend the cassava with one can of coconut milk. That's for one packet because I've got two packets here. I'm going to use both for each packet. I'm now adding the coconut milk. You can also use liquid milk instead of coconut milk. This one is a pure vegan recipe. I'm now going to blend it. Here, one of the packet already blended. I'm going to add the second batch that I blended. Traditionally, people used to grate the cassava when they were making it, like that's how my mom does it. But then, now we do it this way, which is easy. I'm going to add in the vanilla essence. One. And two. I'm using the lid of the vanilla bottle as measurement. That's a small one though. And here I've got 150 gram of granulated sugar. You can adjust the sugar according to your taste. I'm going to give it a mix. I'm greasing the baking pan with some butter. I'll pour my cassava mixture in my baking pan. I'm going to add in boiling hot water in the tray here. Going to be cooked on uh, bain marie for 30 minutes at 180 degrees. You can also cook it in a pressure cooker in a very well sealed pan. I've got some boiling hot water from the kettle. Add it halfway of my baking dish. Meanwhile, I have my oven preheated to 180 degrees. It's ready to go in the oven. So you can see guys, the pudding is now ready. Look at that. It's been set. It took me 30 minutes at 180 degrees. I'm going to leave it for 5 minutes. Then I'm going to make rectangles with it. You can cut it any shape you like. I'm cutting it like that first. And I'm going to roll it in desiccated coconut. Here. My pudding is ready. You can serve it with a cup of tea or on its own as a dessert. I hope you will enjoy it. Thanks for watching Delish Food and Food. See you soon for another recipe. Bye bye.